Alright, starting off right away, if you've seen my review videos, you know I love the Google Pixel Fold. I love it more than I love the Galaxy Z Fold 5, and I find it very, very surprising for that said reason. Because, to be honest, I have no problem with how skinny the Z Fold 5 display is. But after using this phone, you really sought to understand that this phone's outside display, being more like a candy bar S type of cell phone, is so much better. But again, this is not perfect. It's a first gen product and there's things that they have to go ahead and improve on. Even though I do love everything about this phone, there are things I would like to see get better with the second iteration. The first thing I will say is the Tensor G3 chip. I think the Tensor G2 chip coming out with this phone was a mistake. Um, Tensor G2 chip is very, you know, equal to, if not the same as, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor. And we have the, you know, Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor in this phone. And of course, OnePlus Open. Now you kind of fall into the range of, wow, this phone is not as powerful as those phones are. And you're asking for the same price tag as those two phones. And that kind of becomes a problem. So with the new iteration, I want to see at least the Gen, uh, Tensor G3 chip, if not the Tensor G4 chip. If it's possible, release it early for this phone. You're going to sell a lot more copies from it being so powerful. Now the reason why I think they didn't include the Tensor G3 chip in this phone is because of the overheating problems. If you own a Google Pixel Fold, you already know if you use it too much when it comes to like really heavy duty processes on this phone it will heat up and it will slow down so if you're using a lot of ram at once you're playing heavy gaming it will slow down and it will heat up and that's a problem and i think that's why they didn't go tensor g3 chip because they knew this phone could not handle it so with the second iteration i'm not as you know creating phone savvy i will say as the next guy is but you're going to have to figure out a way because this phone right here has a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor in it. Very powerful and it's able to run everything at full power, not overheat, not slow down at all. There's no problem with this phone. You're going to have to figure it out with this phone, Google. I know it's a first gen product, so that's kind of just things you learn over time. But you have to figure that out. That's the next thing. Finally, the next one. I say finally, it's not the last one. That that it's not a problem it's not a big deal but make it fold 180 degrees there is no reason why this should be folding 178 degrees while the z fold series can fold 180. now you might say well it's because it's a first gen product okay second gen products make that fold 180 degrees it is annoying for no reasons yeah i'm just gonna say it like that next thing i'll say about this phone is the bezels i have no problem with the bezels but so many people complain about them. So if you want to sell more copies with the second one, I don't want to see the bezel change. I'm fine with the bezels, but if you want to sell more, make the bezels less. I'm sure you can do that without any hassle at all. So that definitely is going to be a thing. The next thing I want to see change with the second iteration of this phone, and it's going to be stylus, stylus support. So we already know with the Z Fold 5, you can use a S Pen on this phone. On the outside and on the inside. And it's really nice, to be honest. I don't really like using it on the inside because I'm scared of breaking the actual inside display. But on this phone, you cannot. And if you try to, it will not work. And again, you could risk breaking this display. So add some type of like stylus support. I know you guys don't really have the Google Pen or the G Pen. I don't know what you would call it. You guys don't have that. So maybe with the iteration of allowing this, you also release some type of pen like that to give more support in that category. But other than that, I can't really see anything else I would want changed. It has the IPX8 rating. It's a plenty water resistant with the Z Fold 5. Has wireless charging, NFC. Has everything you'd want on a prototypical smartphone nowadays, you know, in 2023. So this phone, in my opinion, outside of the things I just listed, and a lot of those are nitpicks, is perfect. I really don't see too much more that can change with the second iteration of this phone. But if you add those things I mentioned, I think this phone becomes even more perfect. If it can game and, you know, do heavy lifting at a very high level without slowing down or having heat problems, get a powerful chip in here, figure that all out, get less bezels, maybe the 
crease on the display if you really want to appease the general public. And that's pretty much it. And Silas also support. Other than that though, I can't really say anything else I would want to see change. I love this phone. It's my daily driver and I'm probably going to rock it my daily driver moving forward. Unless something crazy comes out and Microsoft releases a Surface Duo 3. Which is not going to happen. It's not going to happen. So, Google Pixel Fold. It's almost perfect. Just a little bit of things that need to be corrected. Second iteration, here we come. Peace out, guys.